New footage shows this is how Ukrainian FPV drones blew up Russian soldiers in Avdivka trench column. In the heart of the Ukrainian war, the first-person view FPV, commercial drone has become a significant element, reshaping the rules of engagement. Operated by a soldier from a bunker miles away, these drones, swift as cars and loaded with explosives, have emerged as formidable weapons in a defensive war. On the battlefield, Ukrainian forces have found success using small FPV drones, exposing the ineffectiveness of Russia's electronic warfare system, Volnorez, in protecting their armored vehicles. The drones are armed with new ammunition, including the Frag 09-576 and Frag 05-975 munitions, providing a significant advantage, despite Russia having superior numbers. These drones have proven their worth in this asymmetric warfare. Russian soldiers, even if equipped with electronic warfare EU gear, prove defenseless against Ukrainian drones, Ukrainian blogger and volunteer Serhii Sternenko said on Twitter X on January 8, with sharing a video of Ukrainian forces using a drone against a Russian anti-drone gunner. In the video, a Ukrainian unit successfully succeeds in targeting a Russian infantry fighting vehicle, prompting the arrival of a Ural truck for evacuation. The footage reveals the presence of an anti-drone gunner with an EU gun in the truck, ostensibly to fend off drones. One of your drones dropped onto this anti-droner in the Ural, Sternenko said, commenting on the elimination of the Russian soldier, who turned out to be helpless in the face of the skill of Ukrainian operators. Ukrainian paratroopers earlier used a drone to bring a soldier, captured by the Russians, back to their positions. For Ukraine, which is facing dwindling ammunition stockpiles and drying U.S. aid, drones are a cheap and easy alternative to firing artillery. Should one malfunction due to jamming or get shot down, skilled operators, often flying the drones from positions far away from the front line, can simply send another one out. And in some ways, drones can be more effective than artillery, they are like improvised explosive devices that chase down the targets, which can be anything from a single soldier to tanks. Ukraine likewise, has state-backed efforts and private operations, and Ukraine was the first to really capitalize on the impacts drones can have on the battlefield. FPV drones can be produced in large quantities for asymmetric warfare against more expensive targets such as tanks. They can have an outsize effect on the battlefield, threatening anyone and anything that moves effectively turning sectors of the front line into a kind of no-man's land for vehicles, which make easy and large targets. Amid this high-tech warfare, the human element persists, the troops, known by their call signs, express a mix of fatigue and resilience, the intensity of the war has never been greater for those near the front lines. The territory is a game of ping-pong, constantly contested, lost, and retaken, the Ukrainian soldiers continue to face a challenging and dangerous situation, shaping their narrative of endurance and hope. Ukrainian troops are primarily in a defensive stance along the 600-mile front line, except in the Kherson region where they continue an offensive across the Dnipro River. Despite Ukrainian troops being on the defense, the situation teems with danger as Russian forces launch aggressive attacks, particularly in the Zaporizhia region. While Russian soldiers also face mounting Ukrainian artillery fire and the introduction of glide bombs also FPV drone attack capable of penetrating underground bunkers. When towns and villages near the front line like Orokiv bear the scars of this relentless onslaught, largely abandoned and heavily damaged by bombings. In addition, New footage appears to show a U.S. volunteer fighting in Ukraine firing on Russian soldiers with a rocket-propelled grenade and a machine gun, as Kyiv's troops battle on against Russian advances along the front line. In a brief clip posted to social media on Monday, 
what looks to be a body camera captures the fighter using the shoulder-fired RPG in a moving vehicle before switching to a burst of machine gun fire. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine nearly 23 months ago, international volunteers have traveled to the war-torn country to fight on Kyiv's behalf. Shortly after the outbreak of full-scale war in February 2022, Ukraine called for foreign nationals willing to fight for Ukraine to join the newly created International Legion, just one of the ways in which volunteers have joined Kyiv's fight. U.S. volunteers are among the international fighters known to have been killed in the almost two years of war. Foreigners have fought and died in some of the bloodiest battles up and down the front line, from the devastated city of Bakhmut, now under Russian control, to Avdivka, where Moscow's troops are slowly encircling defending Ukrainian forces. Several U.S. volunteers are known to have been killed in Ukraine, including 21-year-old Ethan Hertwick, who died in mid-December in Avdivka. In an operational update early on Tuesday, the Ukrainian military said its forces had held off two Russian attacks in the villages of Klishchivka and Andrivka, just south of Bakhmut. Russian and Ukrainian forces continued positional engagements north and south of Bakhmut on January 8, but there were no confirmed frontline changes, the U.S. think tank, the Institute for the Study of War, ISW, said in its latest update. Ukraine repelled three Russian attacks close to Avdivka, and another 15 close to the villages of Pervomysky and Nevelsky, southwest of Avdivka. Ukraine recorded another dozen Russian attacks around the demolished town of Marinka, near the regional capital, Donetsk City, but Russia's forces marginally advanced on the southern edge of the village of Novomikhailivka, directly south of Marinka. Russia's defense ministry said on Tuesday that its forces had attacked Ukrainian positions in Novomikhailivka, preventing nine attacks in the area, but the Ukrainian side denied the claim. <laughs>